Bell trucks are designed to be easy to service and maintain. There is a maintenance chart located at the step prior to entering the cab that you can refer to. It's important to check all your fluid levels and check for fault codes prior to operating the truck. Before operating the truck, it's important to do a visual inspection all around the truck. Walk around the truck, look at all your hoses, look at the articulation joint, look underneath at your drive line and your axles and differentials and wheel hubs, and make sure there are no active leaks. If you do find a leak, contact your service department. Proper tire inflation is critical to the performance of any Bell truck. It's recommended that prior to operating the truck, you walk around and check for underinflation or overinflation, and adjust as necessary. For your reference, there is a tire inflation chart located at the steps on the outside of the operator's cab. All Bell trucks are equipped with an auto lube system from the factory. It's important during your daily pre-check inspection to check the level of grease in the reservoir. If it needs to be filled using a regular grease gun, there's a nipple at the bottom of the reservoir where you can fill it. As you continue to walk around the truck doing your pre-check inspection, check the headlights, taillights, hazard lights, and especially your rear view camera. Make sure all of these are clean. To get maximum visibility, and maximum safety while you're operating the truck. Once you've finished your daily pre-check inspection and you're ready to enter the cab and go to work, as you're climbing the ladder, make sure to have three points of contact at all times. Once you're up on the deck, check the master switch to make sure that it's on. If it's not on, turn it on now. Now you can enter the cab. As you finish your daily pre-check inspection and now you're inside the cab, checking your fluid levels is a cinch for the Bell trucks. There's an auto diagnostic screen that you can initiate through the system. To do so, you press the green button once. The system will ask you for a four digit code. That four digit code is the last four digits of the VIN number, which can be found on the serial number plate on the back left hand post of the cab. In this case, that number is 7436. Using the SSM keypad, there's a series of buttons that have numbers on them. We'll type in 7436. Now the system has initiated. In order to access the diagnostics menu, we'll go to the B drive, we'll select the E button, then we'll select the diagnostics menu and you'll see a screen that will show a series of different green checks. The green checks are positive, meaning that our levels are good. If you do have to fill any of your fluids, it's important to do so before you start your shift. It's especially important to look for the deaf fluid level. If the deaf fluid level falls before below 14%, a warning symbol and light will come on the screen and you definitely want to fill up your deaf fluid prior to going to work. These trucks are stage five, tier four final compliant engines, and they require DEF fluid in order to achieve those emission standards. It's also a good idea to do a visual inspection of the engine. At this time, you can raise the hood using the hood raise switch. Simply hold in the hood raise switch to raise the hood. Then you can walk outside of the cab and do a visual inspection of the engine at that time. You can also check the engine oil manually with the engine oil dipstick, or you can check your engine oil at the diagnostic screen. To shut the hood, you just hold in until it shuts.